Flip in here. I love the fan carpet, never miss it. Hi guys, it's Camilla here for the fan carpet. Tonight we are at the Newport Beach Film Festival. We are here at the luxurious Bulgari Hotel in partnership with Variety and HMV. So how does it feel to, to come here? Well, this is our third year, and we started uh, a couple of years ago with the Imitation Game and then went on to Brooklyn, and now we have a great partner with Variety Magazine, and so now we're honoring up-and-comers and screen legends, and the event has just grown in terms of influence and size way beyond our imagination. Uh, and we're really excited to be able to partner with Visit Newport Beach. I mean, when we founded the festival 18 years ago, we knew that Newport was the, the ultimate location for a world-class film festival. You know, beautiful beaches, uh, amazing man-made amenities. It's just the perfect place not only to vacation, but also to celebrate amazing film. So we said, look, this is a, a unique opportunity for us to be able to come over and celebrate UK film and filmmaking. What's also important is that we're offering opportunity to UK filmmakers to submit their most current work to the Newport Beach Film Festival. So we've actually extended just for the United Kingdom uh, our call for entries until the 17th of this month. So we're really encouraging all filmmakers, whether it be short films or feature films, to think about submitting to the Newport Beach Film Festival in Southern California. Um, I feel pretty good. I mean, I, it's, it's, yeah, it's such an honor to, to be here, really, and, and to be a part of this festival, which I think is wonderful. And, and yeah, it's very exciting. Well, it's, it's a different sort of an evening. It's a different sort of a, an award. At the moment, I'm feeling really quite relaxed without the help of either drugs or alcohol, and I hope it carries on that way. It, it just feels so nice because talent, I'm not talking about my supposed talent, but generally talent is, is being celebrated, and um, we need that, especially at the moment, I think, you know, with all that's happening in the world that's so out of our control, and um, it's a very nice very nice thing and needs to be assessed constantly. I was telling my wife, I still dream London. It's the strangest thing, you know, it's like in my DNA now. So it's great to be here. I love doing the Tend to Watch program. I started it at Variety uh, 20 years ago. And so I love being able to talk about emerging talent and uh, be able to shine a spotlight on people at a point in their career when they're either making a big move like uh, Harry Styles moving into uh, doing a film like Dunkirk or Craig Rock. Roberts, who is uh, emerging as a super great uh, young actor, uh, Kate Maberly moving from uh, being a terrific actress into being a director that a lot of people are going to be talking about. It's fantastic to be here. It's very nice to be, you know, we're a very young company. We're just uh, starting out. The uh, Night Manager was actually the first TV show we've ever made, believe it or not. And uh, so it's a huge source of uh, encouragement and excitement to, uh, uh, to be here, actually. To be honest with you, I knew nothing about the Newport Beach Festival at all. And I'm rather confused as to why I'm here, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm honoured, flattered. Yeah, it's fun, fantastic. I mean, it's been great, you know, since Cannes, you know, when it won the Palm Door, it seems to have been picking up awards all over the place. Which, you know, when you make a film, you never ever dream of awards. I mean, when we did this in the northeast of England in 2015, November, it was cold, it was just we just wanted to make a good film and and when it's recognized like this it's it, it, it's fab because it gives it keeps it keeps momentum of the film going which keeps it in the public eye which gets the matches across which is fab how important is it you have to have film festivals like this within the industry oh I think it's incredibly important I think it's uh, you know things like the Newport Beach Film Festival are a wonderful opportunity to uh, experience uh, for audiences to experience films there are a lot of films festivals, the big festivals uh, are about uh, the, you know, about the industry almost more than they're about the films. And the thing I love about Newport Beach Film Festival is that it's really about films. It's about films and audiences and, and connecting films to audiences. It's, I love it. <laughs> Making films, independent films anyway, is hard. And it's getting harder all the time. And 
whatever any of us can do to keep the profile up um, is a good thing, you know. We have to keep making films. What does Variety look for when partnering with a project like, like the Newport Beach Film Festival? Oh, I love that question. Uh, you know, finding a partner for Variety is finding people who have a level of professionalism, respect, uh, people who love the industry as much as we do, but also can deliver when it's time to do an event like this. And, uh, you know, judging by being here at the Bulgari Hotel and uh, all of the people here and the caliber of people. I mean, I've interviewed Charles Dance. Uh, he's a uh, an amazing uh, actor and, and a figure I admire so much. I've been looking at David Bailey's work for you know a long, long time. So uh, this is just a, I'm very appreciative that Newport Beach cares about London and UK talent as much as we do. Well, HMV uh, stepped up thanks to the efforts of Greg, and uh, they wanted to be a part of this a couple of years ago. And of course, we have a contest running through purehmv.com, and we have winners that come out. They attend the film festival. They're treated like kings and queens. It's a great way for them to kind of build their relationship with their customer base with a really prestigious event. And Variety wanted to, you know, work with us because they see the opportunity here in, in the UK. They're trying to expand their footprint and they see this as a wonderful event that fits their brand as well. So, and Greg has done such an amazing job with the film festival and elevating its prestige that I think we have partners uh, that are national in scope that want to be a part of what we're trying to do now. So, we've got some great momentum on this and that's what's so exciting about it. Plus, we just love the UK. We do. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. And it's been something we've worked on for 18 years. You know, our, our very first year of the festival, we had a, a major tribute uh, to Guy Green, who was a, a legendary cinematographer with David Lean. And every year since, we've had a major component of the festival that revolves around UK filmmaking. So it's one of those things that we're, this is the, the sort of the crowning component to our, our, our international outreach, and it's through great partnerships such as we have with Visit Newport Beach, Variety, HOV, that make this all possible. So we're really proud to, to be able to be along uh, for this great adventure. Well, tell us a bit about the film and why you are so keen to get involved in that project. Well, it was Ken, Ken Loach, basically. I mean, you know, the way Ken works, you don't know much about the film because he only gives you a couple of pages of script each day. So I didn't even know the end of the film till two days before it, we, we, um, we shot it. Uh, so you live the life of the character. But it was Ken Loach. I mean, you know, I mean, who wouldn't jump at a chance of working with Ken Loach? I mean, it's been, it's been, you know, I had seven weeks of pure joy. Hard work, but, but you know, fun and joy. And, and so I was over the moon when I auditioned and, and then Ken offered me the part. I mean, it, I, you know, I was, I, I was gobsmacked. I mean, like, I do a lot of improv um, in my job as a stand-up comic and I work with a comedy store players, which is great fun. But, you know, the way Ken works is he gives you a couple of pages of script each day. It was great to work with a with a crew and with uh, you, you know have a collaboration with a lot of people where with stand up you're just on your own yeah. and you live or die by yourself you know and so it's very immediate stand up where film you make a film and then two years later everybody goes crazy about it you know but the problem with that is you can't change it <laughs> so you're stuck with what you've made you know so you hope you make a good job you know but yeah I'm so pleased and you know the way the film's getting the message across and people are always saying such lovely things yeah. I mean it's so nice I mean a million miles away from what I thought, you know? You mean Miss Peregrine? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just checking. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it was like, it, it was a like nine months, you know, it was such a huge part of my life and the people I met are, are lifelong friends and, um, it, you know, it, it's hard to describe now looking back, it's like almost two years ago, but it was just the most incredible film with the most incredible props and costumes, you know, the whole thing was just a mental experience and you know? I can't quite believe it happens. What appealed about Game of Thrones to you? What it's made you really, want really good. Yeah. It's incredibly well written and it's it's it has um, feature film production values. It's sensational, it really is, and I'm very lucky to be part of it. Well, I see Craig Roberts over there, so <laughs> and I've been watching the show Red Oaks, uh, so that one is really familiar to me. But uh, no, I, I mean, uh, you know, the Game of Thrones phenomenon is so huge. Uh, it's fun to uh, see characters uh, come to life in front of you from a show like that. But I also love, you know, seeing the uh, the writers and directors that I know are going to be doing important work. So uh, I love them all. I don't know. Um, I, I recently actually
she works with Miranda Richardson, um, who I hear is, is around somewhere. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing her and just saying hi and catching up, really, after, after such a long time. But, yeah. What up-and-coming projects do you have that we can look forward to? Well, our next uh, big uh, television project is an adaptation of uh, an iconic novel also by John le Carre, who wrote The Night Manager, which is the spy who came in from the cold. Um, and also, uh, we just announced um, a film that we're shooting in June, uh, starring Jodie Foster, which uh, is called Hotel Artemis. Um, and uh, that's looking at a very uh, exciting project altogether. So we're going to have a busy year. There's a couple of films coming out later this year. There's one film out already on Netflix, which is called Eyeball. And uh, later this year, Churchill. And then later still, there will be uh, Stronger. I've got two... It's, well, it's three, but I can't remember what the third one is. Um, I did a film with Elisa Vikander and Eva Green and Charlotte Rampling in Bavaria in the year with a wonderful Swedish director called Lisa Langseth. Um, that will be out. That might, might well be going to Cannes. Oh, I just remember what the third one is. Okay. And um, I did John Hurt's last film, which is called That Good Night. Um, which I think will be rather good and quite poignant for obvious reasons. And then I did a British film that we shot up in Shropshire about this time last year, up to our knees in mud. Freezing my ass off. And um, that's best described, I guess, as Oliver Cromwell meets Quentin Tarantino. So. Thank you, fan cop. I will always watch you all the time. Thank you so much for watching the Newport Beach Film Festival. Please fill up, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And stay tuned for more next time. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.